What's going on everybody? Moises Foz with Foz Power Washing LLC here out of Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, today we are doing a semi-wash for uh, one of our family members actually. But in today's video I wanted to show y'all our, uh, our force feeding setup. The way we got it uh, set up to where we're uh, getting water from our tote, our 275 gallon tote to our pressure washer. A lot of people use gravity fed. We like uh, the force feeding with our, our 5.5 uh, gallon per minute pump. Uh, it's a North Star 12 volt pump. But let me show y'all real quick. So first off, we got our, uh, our pump, our, our actual pump. It's running off of our battery from the truck. You could have it set up this way. You could get a bat. You could get, you know, you could buy a battery, a marine battery. Currently, we have it set up this way. I know it's not so appealing to the to the eye, but it works. I personally don't like it too much, especially with commercial jobs. You know, you wanna you wanna look a little bit professional, but you gotta get the work done. So that's first off. That's how we power it. Um, sorry for the noise, but you know we gotta get the work done. So this is our tote, and uh, this is our quick connects. From, uh, from the tote to our three-quarter hoses. So it's quick connect to a bunch of reducers that goes to a 90 to a three-quarter hose, and that three-quarter hose runs all the way up to our pump. This is our 12-volt pump. Initially, we used it as a pen pump. Um, we bought, you know, we got another one. We decided to, you know, add this one so we can force feed. So uh, all our all our connects are, are quick connects, so they're easy to, you know, to adjust. And we, for some reason, we gotta twist out the hose. We're just able to, to pop it off. <clears throat> and then this is the other side, the output side. Again, it's a three-quarter hose. So those quick connects come in, uh, come really, uh, come real handy, especially if you just want to you know. Yeah, if you just want to take it off, you know, on the run, uh, but make sure you put those pins in with a lot of vibration. All that vibration, you're gonna get those pins that, um, or you're gonna get the the locks that come out, and then that's one way you can lose pressure when you're force feeding uh, your pressure washer, just because you have all that vibration. So now that we got the machine a little bit quiet, now I could, uh, now I don't have to scream so much. But yeah, I mean. This is a semi that we washed. It's a uh, family members. This is actually our first semi for uh, Foz Power Washing. So hopefully they like it. But it's just a simple wash. Got the engine cleaned out too. But yeah, this is our force feeding setup. So it's simple, nothing major. I know a lot of people use the gravity fed setup. Um, we tried it but we ran into a little bit of problems. I've seen that it's better when you're doing gravity fed to use uh, the hard PVC pipe, but we like this setup. It's, uh, it's efficient and it works. And then when we're done, you know, take out these pins and then just bam. And the same thing for the pump. We've got to switch out the pump for any reason, work on it, maintenance it. But, yes sir. That is our setup, y'all. So, hope this video is informative. Hope y'all like it. Uh, to your friends, I know starting out, all this uh, knowledge would be helpful. Subscribe for more uh, content, and see y'all later. Peace. Say peace. Peace. peace.